Hey, what's up? So we are now at the last episode of season two. This is about, of course, abscesses and things that have gotten stuck. All right, so this first patient just has a neck abscess. It's in the back. We see patients get abscesses here from time to time, especially diabetics. Um, abscess, pretty much you make an incision, you drain it, get the pus out. We're just waiting on you, yes, ma'am. We're ready. Come on in. We've been busy today. Hey, y'all say hello. Hi. You say who, tell them who you are. Oh, I'm sure. Well, y'all pick one. Damn. I'm go That's what I got to deal with for a month. This is what I deal with for one whole month. I, th I think we're this great. nonsense. I think we're having a great time. All right, Wonder Twins. I'm Shirley, PA student. I'm Melissa. I'm the med student. And I'm George. I'm the doctor. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so this lady has a big nasty abscess, and um, what we're going to do is drain it. It's been there for a while. I think it's an infected sebaceous cyst. This one's a little different because she has a previous history of it being excised and now it comes back. So typically these ones that were partially excised in the ER because they did it wrong, that's what she wants to do. Um, when they do it wrong, it makes it harder for them to get treated. So this is how we fix it. All right, young lady, let's see. All right, flip that hair up for us and you gonna sit there like that. <coughs> no, that's fine. Can you, will, will that work? Yeah. Why okay. Did I change my shirt? Do you want to change it or you, we can put up we can put a little thing over it. Uh, it? Yeah, it's fine. It you sure? Fine. I'll put what I'll do is I'll put a um I'll put a like a little chuck underneath it. Mm -hmm. And then and then we will uh we'll get it done. Okay. That's so fine. what you want to do? Make sure it's in the center. So it All right. So let me get that chuck on there. Um, grab that lot of cane for me. So the first thing we're going to do is numb it up, okay? So the problem is the numbing medication doesn't work that well. It does? It doesn't. Doesn't because of the numbing. So, all right, we're going to tuck this in. And there you go. All right, good enough. Now, if that's not comfortable, you can actually come right here. You see what I mean? Mm-hmm. Got it? All right. So first things first is uh, we're going to get that numbed up. And then once we get it numbed up, we'll drain it. The hard part is going to be whether or not you require, whether or not we'll be able to close it. And we won't know that until we get in there because it's infected. You know what I mean? Okay. Um. Who lives at home with you? Uh, my brother. Okay. My son is, um, okay. So we may end up having to do is have one of them kind of do some dressing changes on it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just relax. You got. You got to relax. You freaking out. We ain't even started yet. Mm -hmm. oh, What's that lot of key? Oh, thank you, ma'am. All right, so a little stick, okay? One, two, three. So what we're doing is you try and numb up the entire thing. You okay? Mm -hmm. Not ideal. So I want to cross the skin. A little stick, one, two, three. And we know that abscesses don't get numbed up that well just because the lidocaine doesn't work. One, two, three. So what, what I'll do on big ones like this, one, two, three, is I'll put a lot of lidocaine. Oh, okay. I'm sorry, one, two, three. All right, so we put a lot of lidocaine. You're doing great. Just hang in there, you're doing fantastic. All right, so you're going to feel a little bit of stuff run down your neck, okay? Oh, 
All right, you're doing a great job. You're doing fantastic, okay? So yeah, so just like I suspected, I think a lot of this is, is complicated because of that previous um, surgery that you had with it, okay? So what we're gonna have to do, I'm gonna open this up just a little bit. Good, okay. So we're, what we're gonna do is release all this infection from it. And then we're gonna pack it so that it's, um, oh, we're, good. We're, we're gonna pack it so that it can heal. And then at some point, we're gonna have to talk about cutting the whole area out, okay? Yeah. But right now we got it drained, which is good, which means it's gonna heal a lot faster and it won't hurt as much. But what I will say is I don't think going to work today is a good no, idea. All right? Hey, I'm sorry. About what? I'm sorry it hurts. You sorry? It doesn't hurt me. It hurts you. I know. So why are you sorry if it hurts you, not me? Huh? I don't know. Yeah, don't apologize for me. I'm good. Can you grab me some tape, please? Do you know what caused this thing? Uh, you know, you probably had a little hair fault. No, it's out there. You probably had a little hair follicle that got infected or something like that before. And what's happened now is when they removed it before, they partially removed it, not completely. So with that partial removal, you kind of get these weird tracks where it doesn't drain like it's supposed to. It's kind of thick and, and hard. So it just kind of, when it gets infected, it just gets worse. Um, the downside is, is that in order to get rid of it completely, we're going to have to cut the whole thing out, which is fine. We can do that. Um, the last time, two years ago, I just want to pick one piece. And cut it out. And yeah. That she didn't get it all. Do you remember who did it? Gia Smith. Okay. And I told them, I said, I just don't want to go back one to piece. her. Because just I one piece. Like she no, I just want to well, yeah, I, th I think probably, you know, sometimes when they're hard like that and infected, they can actually get, uh, it's just hard to get them out. So I think that's what happened. Okay. Um, so in 48 hours, you're going to remove that dressing. And then what we're going to have to do is have your brother um, take it out. And he will, uh, maybe not him, but maybe somebody. Why not? Your brother doesn't like you? No, he's not going to. He wouldn't even touch this to put some medicine on it. So my friend would do it, though. Why, is he soft? I don't know, because he's weird. How weird? That like, is weird. Like, uh, weird as in funny looking weird? No. or is it... He's just weird about stuff. He's not going to touch nothing crazy. Or so he's kind of funny looking. Okay. <laughs> tell your brother he's funny looking. Does he know he's funny looking, or is he... Okay, you tell him all the time? Okay, all right. Um, so it will, so he'll pull that dressing in 48 hours and then in 48 hours, it will get better. Change it out once a day, just change the dressing and it will heal up. Okay. So and then 48 hours, is it having been packed in it? It does. But once he removes that dressing, he doesn't have to pack it every day because okay. it's not that deep, but it may, it'll heal faster if he does pack it. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. I remember okay. the last time they had me pack it. How far do they need to go in? As far as he can go in. Okay. And you just, that's when you put like a corner of a piece of gauze. Yes, ma'am. Absolutely. Okay. Great. All right. Okay. Thank y'all. All right. And then I want you to come see me in two weeks. But when you walk out, I also want you to get with the young lady up front and tell her that we want to get you um, an excuse to go to work today because I don't think you should go to work. Okay. Okay, okay so I'll see you in two weeks. Yes, ma'am. And then we'll decide about, and then we'll just go ahead and maybe schedule that surgery. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yeah. I don't ever want this to happen. No, I don't want to ever, because it's, it, it's pretty big, it's pretty painful. I don't want you to have to deal with this if you don't have to. So. Yes, sir. All right. Thank y'all right. very much. You okay? Yes, I'm okay. All right. <sighs>
I had real bad anxiety, and I used to be a drug addict, so okay. I don't take Xanax or anything like yes, that anymore, so I take Buspar now, and they don't work as well. <laughs> they don't. <laughs> they sure don't. <laughs> they don't. They don't balance you out at all. That's they true. Do, yeah. I'll be back on meth. Yeah, <laughs> yeah don't do that. <laughs> All right, girl, hold on. Let me get you set up, okay? All right. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, so she's good. It wasn't that bad, but it's just chronically inf inflamed and has a lot of loculations in it. So we'll have to cut that one out, but we'll get that done. Um, we'll schedule it in about a week or two. Get it set up, please. So this one actually is a pretty nasty abscess. But the most important thing is that when you drain an abscess, one, you have to tell the patient that the numbing medicine will help, but will not completely remove the pain because lidocaine just doesn't work in infected fields. Number two, once you get it out, it's an infected wound. So you want it to heal from the inside out so you don't close infected wounds. I typically like a wet to dry dressing on sm simple, small abscesses like this. So I pack it for 48 hours, pull the packing out, the patient gets in the shower, washes it with soap and water doesn't matter if it's antibacterial soap or not that's not really a thing fda kind of got rid of that but any soap will work and then pack it with gauze if it's a big abscess until it heals from the bottom up the main reason you're doing that is because you don't want the skin to close it really quickly and then you end up in the emergency room or in my office getting a repeat drainage if you let it heal from the bottom up because you've kept that top part open usually it won't come back unless there's something foreign in it speaking of foreign let's talk about uh, uh, BB in the cheek. This gentleman needs to get an MRI and he's got a BB. He got shot. I think it was his brother that shot him a while ago. Shout out to Marcus Crawford. I don't think I ever shot him with a BB gun, um, but we had to get it out. All right. So public service announcement before we get started on this next case. If your doctor says, hey, Ms. Johnson, you need to go to get um, pre-admission testing done. What that means is you see the anesthesiologist, they talk about what's going on with you medically and then decide if you need some type of um, test done before surgery. That can be anything from checking your potassium to knowing that you've had two heart attacks and not followed up with your cardiologist and are having chest pain. Those types of things are important prior to surgery so that we don't have to cancel your surgery the day of. So go to PATs. All right, anyway, next, um, next guy. That's a pretty interesting problem. I'm going to take my jacket off. He um, has uh, back pain, chronic back pain, but he needs to get an MRI. Problem is he can't get an MRI because he got shot as a kid with a uh, BB. So what we've got to do is get the BB out of his mouth so he can get his MRI done. Um, there's Sally sneaking by. Um, so yeah, so we're basically going to do this um, from the inside. I could have done it from the outside on the local in the office, but it seemed a little too deep. And I think we get a better shot of it here. So we're just gonna put him to sleep. And also I didn't want him to aspirate it in the office and go down his uh, windpipe and all that stuff. That would have been rough to see. Um, so yeah, let's get it out. His tongue's all in the way. Um, so it's right here. So this is kind of gonna have to be on feel. So first thing I'm gonna do is mark it. Hey, Mr. I have a small one. I need a small one. No, oh, that's fine. So we kind of gotta. Yeah, I'll see. Hey, Laura. Can you look in that bucket right there? And there's a like a curved mosquito hemostat in there. So you can hear it yes. clicking. Is that going to be too small? No. It's going to be perfect, actually. <coughs> now the hard part is actually grabbing it. But there it is. Yeah. Stainless steel. That would have messed the MRI up pretty good. Yeah. All right. You got a chromic stitch by chance over there? Daniel, I need you to open it. We're going to get a chromic stitch. Right. Right there. And uh, yeah, just one of those. So you can see it's just a stainless.
stainless steel. That would have been a problem. I kind of half want to stitch this, half don't want to stitch it, but it was pretty deep. So we'll put one stitch in it. Be sure I don't stitch my hand with it. And that's just to help it close. This will be gone in about two days anyway. It won't stay in there forever. So I'm not really worried about it trapping an infection in, but it'll be enough to get it started to close in the right direction. Scissors. But yeah, he got shot on the outside, not the inside, but that seemed like a more logical thing. So yeah, let's see. Oh, where to go? He wants it. Oh, there it is. I got it. it. Yeah, I see it right there. That joke is, ooh, that joke is rolling. <laughs> hey, it's hot. Yeah. Ooh. Mmm. Got to do the thing like they do on TV. Christmas like Christmas. So I forgot to numb it up. I did that at the end. The reason I don't like numbing up foreign bodies under general anesthesia before um, the procedure is because uh, it kind of just adds more fluid around it, which makes it harder to find the foreign body sometimes. So I usually numb it up at the end. Um, we did that after we put the stitch in because I forgot. But other than that, everything else went well. That stitch will fall out. It's a chromic stitch. It'll fall out in about five days and um, maybe even three days. It might not even make it 48 hours because of the juices in the mouth dissolving it. But yeah, that's it. He doesn't even really need to come back and see me. He is clear to get his MRI. All right, that's it. So this was pretty cool because he got shot here, but we pulled it out from the inside. Um, just an easier approach and it migrated to come in. If he had waited another 15 years, he may have just spit it out one day, but couldn't wait that long. So we got it out. Two weeks later, he can get an MRI if he needs to. But yeah, we moved it out from the inside. That's pretty much it. Uh, thanks for tuning in to season two. Look forward to season three. All right, guys, y'all take care. Thanks for tuning in. Goodbye.